start going down the back straightaway. Really just kind of a stack up effect. Like was one of them got on the brakes and kind of forced. Yeah, look at Tony Stewart just missing this crash. Man, here's where it really gets gets exciting. Man, we talked about that there's nowhere to go as you come off of these corners. And when something like this happens, you you really have you make a commitment and you've got one opportunity really to miss this wreck. Tony Stewart did a great job. Some others got caught up in. Let's drive along with Tony Stewart here. See it develop right in front of him. He actually got into the back of the 20 as he checked up. You know it's going to be bad right here when he comes up in front of traffic. Reed Sorensen makes the impact. Scott Speed got a piece of it also. The car is actually going backwards when it starts to lift up and go over and begin to tumble. Yeah, it's just being pushed and, and it's kind of dug in a little bit and, and it was uh, continued to get pushed there. That's what got it up and rolling. You hear what you were talking about how high the banks are here and you see he's just tumbling down that bank. There's so much height difference right there from the top of the bank down to the apron. Three stories, the difference between the top and the bottom, 24 degree banks. A side over side over side, a violent impact. And the good news that the, this new car that NASCAR brought on, what, three years ago, and the driver able to walk away uh, and walk into the ambulance. A violent crash here on lap 31, taking out four cars at Dover, Delaware.